In the world of personal defense, pocket pistols are often called upon to provide effective protection in a package that can be easily carried. As the gun community becomes more diverse, people are more interested than ever in pocket pistols. They call for a firearm that's well hidden until needed and is reliable, shootable, and comfortably carried. Many of these guns are chambered in calibers that are the same as full-size assemblies, and what they sacrifice in accuracy, they make up for in concealability. They don't need a belt or shirt to conceal, so they're easiest to carry all day, every day, even at home. In today's video, we'll talk about the top picks for modern cutting-edge pocket pistols for everyday carry. We'll break down pocket pistol features, price points, and more. Shadow Systems CR920 the CR920 is a subcompact handgun designed to include some of the benefits and handling qualities, much like its full-size DR920 handgun line. However, unlike the full-size option, the CR920 is slimmed down to be the smallest option in the Shadow Systems lineup, ideal for concealed carry use. Chambered in 9mm, it has a match-grade spiral-fluted 3.41-inch barrel, offered in black nitride or Shadow Systems custom bronze. The steel slide is machined with aggressive slide serrations, cut into the front and rear of the slide, with elite models including extra serrations on the top section just behind the front sight post. On the top of the slide, the CR920 comes with steel tritium sights dovetailed in. The polymer frame of the CR920 has aggressive texturing on the slides, front and rear of the grip as well as on the side of the frame for the supporting finger. The trigger guard is also undercut, and the dust cover includes a single Picatinny rail segment for light attachments. Two magazines come with the CR920, a flush-fitting 10-rounder and an extended 13-round option. Unloaded, it weighs in at just 17.8 ounces. Springfield 911 Compact In my opinion, the Springfield Armory 911 is the answer for those concealed carriers who are looking for reliable functioning, crisp accuracy, and a beautiful piece, all in one. Weighing in at only 12.6 ounces, the 911 has a 2.7 inch barrel and an overall length of 5.5 inches. With this small size, the 911 is geared for comfortable concealed carry without adding too much size and weight. Unlike a 1911, the 911 lacks a grip safety on the back strap, but does retain a few similar controls for those versed in that 1911. This includes the slide catch on the left side of the frame, exposed hammer, and bilateral safety. Tritium front and rear sights come included with the 911, with two smaller dots on the rear and a larger dot on the front sight. The 911 Feed from either a standard 6-round single-stack detachable box magazine that is flush with the frame, or an extended 7-round magazine that acts as a grip extension. The Springfield 911 comes with slide color options of either stainless or black, as well as different grip panel color options. Smith & Wesson CSX Smith & Wesson went back to the drawing board when designing its latest microcompact concealed carry pistol and the result is a unique offering in the form of the metal-framed, hammer-fired, 9mm chambered Smith & Wesson CSX. This new pistol features an aluminum alloy frame complete with interchangeable back straps and includes a 10-round flush-fit magazine, as well as an extended 12-round magazine. It also has front and rear cocking serrations with an extended tab on the back of the slide. The CSX isn't optic-ready but its compact package is streamlined for concealment with metal white dot front and rear sights. This new handgun sports ambidextrous controls, including a thumb safety and elongated slide stop, as well as a reversible magazine release button. The flat face trigger also incorporates a trigger safety, and the 18-degree grip angle is optimal for many users' natural point of aim. Ruger LCR the Ruger LCR combines cutting-edge and durable materials you typically get from classic wheel gun platforms to offer a snub-nose revolver that is a perfect combination of traditional with ultra-modern. The Ruger LCR weighs only 13.6 ounces and is able to deliver 5 shots of 38 Special plus P cartridges. 
Not only that, but the snub nose revolver also features a polymer fire control housing, U-notch rear, and a double action only operation system with concealed hammer. Ruger also claims that the Ruger LCR trigger ensures a smooth and non-stacking pull, thanks to a friction reduction cam. You can also find Ruger LCR variants with Crimson Trace or Hogue Tamer grips, if you prefer. Glock 26 The G26 is a small, double-stack 9mm, first released in 1994. It's been a wildly popular pistol for concealed carry with civilians, and as a backup gun for police officers. The size is comparable to the G42, though it is wider, measuring 1.26 inches, and slightly taller at 4.17 inches. The slide also features a little more length at 6.26 inches. The included magazine gives the G26 a 10 plus 1 capacity, with a weight at almost 16 ounces when loaded. The G26's main attraction, besides being diminutive, comes down to its ability to run double-stack Glock magazines. You can stick a 17-round magazine from the G17 in this handgun and run it dry. One trade-off of the concealability of this Glock is the grip feels short. It's worth noting, larger hands will only be able to wrap a couple of fingers around the grip. Therefore, if you sport meatier hands, you may be trading comfort for concealability. Bond Arms Bullpup The bullpup's barrel is 3.35 inches long, in a gun that stretches a mere 5.1 inches. That makes the 7 plus 1 Bond Arms Bullpup roughly an inch shorter than the 6 plus 1 Glock 43, whose barrel is a measly 0.04 inches longer. The engraved rosewood scales enable a positive, full grip on the little gun, with the wide backstrap well positioned along the web of my hand. While the gun's geometry soaks up recoil, the grip's wide rear also helps control the impulse. The Bullpup 9 is a well-made handgun with good features. Most importantly, the piece is reliable. The pistol is among the very few small handguns that shoot like big guns. It is light and compact, but easy to fire accurately. It is useful in fast combat firing and surprisingly accurate in bench rest testing. Smith & Wesson Model 642 since its introduction, the Model 642 has been a favorite among armed citizens, blending all the assets shooters expect in a Smith & Wesson. Chief among these is performance. The Massachusetts gunmaker turns out quality handguns that over the years have earned the reputation for reliability and accuracy. Boasting an aluminum alloy frame, the air weight is among the lightest options in its class. Measuring in at a tick over 6 inches in overall length, the 642 opens a wealth of possibilities in carry style and position. A concealed hammer and integral rear sights make the 5-round revolver a smooth draw and a plus P rating helps it pack a punch. But keep in mind, this option is strictly a double-action-only pistol. Kimber Micro 9 No doubt, the Cadillac of this roundup Kimber's reputation for precision and reliability don't fall short. Even through torture testing environments, the Micro 9 breaches through the finish line, sitting pretty. The 9mm chambering is resolute enough to provide proven stopping power, while still being small enough to fit easily into any pocket. In terms of potential shortcomings, the Micro 9's unfailing adherence to the 1911 chassis create potential snag points, including the iron sights and a prominent beaver tail. Nevertheless, despite the higher price tag that comes with the Micro 9, you can expect to have a quality firearm that provides confidence. Ruger LCP-222 Face it, small concealed carry pistols are oftentimes difficult to shoot. Light and bucky, even in milder calibers, such as 380 ACP, the easy-to-carry heaters oftentimes prove too much for effective self-defense. Ruger's answer? Create the nearly perfect training pistol. The LCP-2 22LR is modeled after the company's extremely popular concealed carry gun, mirroring the 380 in nearly every way. Yeah, its operation has been tweaked, straight blowback, and it features the company's light rack system, making the rimfire slide easier to manipulate. 
but from there, it's a dead ringer for the original and one heck of a training aid. One that costs pennies on the dollar to perfect. Even if you don't run a Ruger for self-defense, the 2 and 3 quarter inch 10 plus 1 pistol still proves an excellent and affordable option to hone your skills to a razor's edge. It's a shooter too. No surprise from Ruger. The company knows 22 LR, and the micro pistol is as fun as every full-sized plinker they offer and ideal for wreaking havoc on soup cans, though a bit closer in. Thank you.